Alright, welcome back. So last week, RBX Flip released an update. So they took the site down for about an hour, and then when it came back, you were able to flip smalls. However, the site experienced a lot of problems shortly after it came back. So basically, uh, as you can see with the video on screen now, I joined a jackpot and I won. However, I did not get my items in the jackpot. I did not get any of the winnings. I did not get my items back. So it turns out that nobody was able to get their items back so all of the games were just being voided and as far as RBX Split was concerned these games just weren't happening so although it was taking your items it wasn't logging the game and there was no game history that it had happened so shortly after this happened the site went down and when it came back up there was no evidence of the games happening so a lot of people had lost their items the problem is because they'd lost their items and because there was no history of the game happening, a lot of people were unable to get their items back. Thankfully, I had recorded the jackpot and like I said, if I hadn't have recorded it, I would not be getting a refund. So yeah, about two hours later in the RBX Loop chat, Lai asked what was happening and everyone explained. So I DM'd him and I did not get my items back in the end because it didn't store the game is happening so i don't know all the technical stuff behind it but basically lie said he couldn't give my items back but he could give an equivalent refund so in the end lie basically gave me 35 bucks which is all right i suppose it's better than nothing but i'd rather get the 19k back so yeah, one of the main reasons i'm making this video is just to sort of warn everyone i guess you know, even though RBX Flip is a very well-known site, things do happen. And I'm almost certain that had I not have recorded that flip, I would not have received any sort of compensation. And RBX Flip is annoyingly fully justified in not refunding anyone. It is in their terms of service that none of the items posted on the site is their responsibility. So that basically means that they could steal your items and it's not their fault if they do. And these are terms of service that you agree to every single time you use their site. But yeah, I'm almost certain that a lot of people would not have received their items back because there was no proof of flips happening. There's a lot of rumours going around of how this happened, some people have claimed that it was a DDoS attack, someone even claimed that they were the DDoSer, and other people just think it's because of the update and because of RBX Lip's negligence. Uh, I have got to give Lai credit, he did once again compensate me. He didn't have to do that, RBX Flip is fully justified in saying, you know the risks of using our site and you chose to use it anyway after an update had been published, you know, what were you expecting? They could have said that, but they didn't. They did refund me somewhat. And also I understand that a lot of people were DMing him. So yeah, I do thank him for his response and for getting me a refund. So yeah, in the end, I'll be able to flip remove the update and you can no longer flip smalls. I don't know if they're still working on re-adding that feature. But yeah, if you lost your items to this bug, then all I can suggest is DM Lai uh, or Strat and hopefully you'll get your stuff back. But I doubt it because there was no evidence of your flip ever happening. Anyway, let me know what you think about this. You know, do you think they should have done more? How would you handle this? You know, a lot of people could abuse this and then start DMing Lai saying that they lost items but they didn't actually. So what would you do in this situation? So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, I should be putting out some more RBX content in the next couple of weeks. So yeah, stay tuned for that. All right, well, that's it for this video. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.